there are a lot of people out there trying to teach how to make pizzas, and I'm sure a lot they mean well. There's a lot of videos out now, there are a lot of books out there about pizza, and it's gotten to be that there's so much information, people are afraid to get out there and just practice because they're worried about whether or not they do it the right way, you know, or whether or not they have the right equipment. But it's really not about the equipment. It's really about loving what you do and using great ingredients and loving the people that you're cooking for. That's what's really important. If you have that, you'll learn to make great pizzas. You don't have to worry about having a $20,000 oven from Italy or having imported ingredients. Really, it's about selecting great stuff and Great stuff comes, can come from anywhere, and it's about caring about what you do. That's what's going to lead you to be a great pizza maker. You want to remember that when we make pizza, this pizza is going to be a reflection of how much you love the people that you're cooking for. If you put love in the oven, you're going to get love out of the oven. It doesn't matter if you've got a $20,000 wood-burning oven imported from Naples, or if you've got a Susie Homemaker oven lit with a light bulb. If you really care about what you're doing, you can make great pizza with any kind of equipment anywhere. You don't have to have water from New York. You don't have to have any special ingredients from Italy. What you have to have is pride and passion. And if you've got that, you'll get there. It's, almost, it's become a, almost a kind of a myth that you have to have all these, all these special tools, you know, and depending on where you're from, you hear different stuff about the pans from Chicago or the ovens from Italy or the coal burning ovens from New York really not about that. You know, my grandmother was a great cook. She didn't have any special pans. She didn't have any magic ovens. What she had was love for the people that she was cooking for and respect for the, for the, for the traditions and history of what she was doing. So if you select all of your ingredients carefully, and they can be ingredients that come right from the grocery store. Everything that I'm putting on this pizza right now is available in any supermarket in the United States. You have to know what to look for, but once you do that, and once you are dedicated to sparing no, no uh, expense, you can make great stuff. A little extra virgin olive oil, some fresh mozzarella, some fresh basil, fine ripened tomatoes, some nice Parmigiano Reggiano grated fresh onto the pizza right before you're going to use it. Mediterranean oregano crushed onto the pizza just before it goes into the oven. That's it. Pizza is simple food. I don't have any special oven to cook this in, but I guarantee you when it comes out, it's going to be a beautiful pizza margarita. So do you need a $20,000 imported pizza oven to make great pizzas? It's nice to have it, but you don't need it. All you need to do is use great stuff. Put garbage in a pizza oven, you're going to get garbage out of the oven, no matter what kind of oven you have. If you put love in the oven, you're going to get love out of the oven. It's not going to matter whether you have a toaster oven or you have a Viking range. As long as you care about what you're doing, you're going to figure it out. Classic pizza margarita. Believe me, if you feel the love when you're making the food, your guests are going to taste the love when it comes out of the oven. You don't need a special oven. All you need is to really care about what you're cooking and who you're cooking for.